Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 8 and verse 32. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? He and his plan of exalting his son is so huge that in the plan, he had to give his own son. What a beautiful plan. What an expensive plan. What a priceless sacrifice that God made for you and for me so that one day we can be reflectors or we can be, you know, ambassadors and we can be people who show the glories of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he says that in order to meet this end of making us like Christ, making us people who, who can show Christ, making us people who can belong to Christ, the Bible very clearly says that he has given his most prized possession. Will he not give all things? The highest sacrifice or the highest value that God has with him is his dear son. And to meet this end, he gave him up. Will he not give all things? And there's all things he continues to go on to say. But there's all things include Every spiritual, material, fellowship, uh, every provision that you need in order to meet the end of glorifying Christ. Oh, you don't need to struggle to produce resources. You cannot. Because the resources you need are resources that are, that are bigger than who we are, that are that are powerful than who we are, they are something that only God can produce. We always need to recognize that God's ends can never be met with human resources. Man has to use God's resources in order to meet God's intended end. Because if man's resources are used, they fall very soon. They cannot stand tall enough to meet the purposes of God. And that's why he very clearly says he gives all things. So he's given Christ who is the crux and the biggest and the biggest strength for us to become like him. There are other few things also. These other few things are maybe a word of encouragement. Maybe, maybe a promise. Maybe a prayer of a saint, maybe a word of edification, maybe a word of correction. You, you need so many things in order to bring you there. He has given the biggest, biggest resource that we need and that is Christ. Will he not give other small resources? It is like if you purchase a very huge, a very exquisitely cut Diamond that is so expensive, will they not give you a, a, a box where the diamond can be set very safely? And will, you, will they not hand it over in a bag which you can hold very firmly? So, this is what Paul is writing here. In order to get to the end, he's given the biggest resource that we need, and that's Christ. Will he not give you boxes and cars? A loving, living, gracious, heavenly Father, given us Christ, your highest possession, your most valuable possession. Will you not give us everything else that we need? Help us to understand how much, how much you are eager to make us like Christ and show that you have brought out a generation out of Adam 
who is not like Adam. In Jesus' wonderful, precious name we pray. Amen.